activists enter the night, seeking to liberate and rescue some animals. Shortly, we will arrive at our destination. Come take a look. These pigs are confined, and they're trapped. They can barely stand up in here. Mother pigs spend most of their lives in individual gestation crates. After giving birth to piglets, they are forced into these farrowing crates. Piglets are separated from their mothers when they are as young as 10 days old. Once her piglets are gone, the mother is impregnated again, and the cycle continues for three to four years before she is then slaughtered. After the babies are taken away from their mothers, they are forced into pens until they are separated to be raised for breeding or for meat. In the end, they will all be slaughtered. Some pigs are put into gas chambers where they will burn from the inside out. Some will have their throats cut open, and this is all standard practice in the industry. These animals are one of the most intelligent beings on the planet.
And now activists enter a shed full of baby chickens. Typically these sheds can hold 40,000 to 60,000 birds. A lot of the birds in these places end up sick or they die due to genetic manipulation and exhaustion. To the industry, these birds are labelled as broiler chickens that are bred and raised specifically for meat production. Chickens are typically slaughtered around five to seven weeks of age. Their general lifespan is at least seven years. It's okay. He's got such a bad leg already. These birds are only three weeks old. Due to genetic manipulation, they are oversized and overweight. Now ask yourself, is there a moral justification to take a living, breathing, heart-beating being's life when they don't have to die? It is so easy to disregard their suffering when we are not the victims. But if we can truly empathize with them, then we can make a connection. Live vegan.